Welcome to Godly Play. Today, we're going to hear this story in my living room. So I hope you'll come in and join me in the circle. We're going to hear this story, The Faces of Easter. Help me as we remember this story. We remember that the baby was born. The word was born, a wordless child, and the baby began to grow. We remember that when Jesus was 12 years old, he went to Jerusalem and he got lost from his parents and they found him in the temple with the rabbis. We remember that Jesus grew up to be a man and when he was about 30 years old, he was baptized in the River Jordan by his cousin John. remember that Jesus went into the desert for 40 days and 40 nights to find out more about who he was and what his work was going to be. We remember that Jesus' work was to come close to people, especially people that no one else wanted to come close to. Jesus also taught by telling parables. Finally, he knew it was time for him to become a parable. And so he went to Jerusalem for the last time. Jesus entered Jerusalem on a Sunday and people waved palm branches, which was a sign of kings. On Thursday, the temple guards thought they would arrest him, but on Thursday night, they could not find him because Jesus was having his last supper with his close friends. They were in an upper room of a house, and after they finished their meal, Jesus said something like, whenever you share the bread and wine like this, I will be there. Later, he went back to the garden to pray and the temple cards came out of the dark and arrested him. That night was a confusing one. The next day, Jesus was taken outside the walls of the city and crucified. The sky grew dark. Later that afternoon, Jesus died. His body was taken down from the cross and buried in a cave. And a big stone was rolled in front of the cave to close it like a door. Saturday was so quiet, you could almost hear the earth breathing. On Sunday, it was the women who had the courage to go back to the tomb to be close to Jesus. They wanted to remember, even if it was sad. When they got there, the stone had been rolled aside and the tomb was empty. Jesus had died on the cross, but somehow he was still with them, just as he is with us today, especially when we have the bread and the wine. When we 
hear this story, we know that there is this side. And we know that there is this side. And you cannot tear them apart. That is the great mystery of Easter. And so, the colors change. Our story has a beginning and a middle. And if there was only one side, it would end right here. But it doesn't end here because this story has an ending that is also a beginning. So we really can't keep it in a straight line like this. Let's see what we can do. Now this story can go on and on forever and ever. I wonder what part of this story you like the best. Which part you think is the most important? I wonder if there is a part of this story that is just for you. I wonder if there is any part of this story that we can leave out and still have all the story we need. I wonder what your work will be. Maybe you'd like to do something that brings you closer to this story. I hope to see you again very, very soon.